August 25, 2005, Montana's Glacier National Park. Johan Otter and his daughter Jenna were on a hiking trip, celebrating her graduation from high school. But the enjoyment didn't last long. With a steel halo in his skull to stabilize his broken neck, damaged muscle in his right eye, and most of his scalp missing, Johan Otter recalls the life-shattering moment he was attacked by a grizzly bear. It's like an out-of-body experience. I did not expect to die. I did, that did not came, came into my mind. This was gonna be an option that day. It was just an hour into their scenic hike when Johan and his daughter turned a corner and came face to face with a grizzly and her two cubs. Jenna takes two steps backwards and says, oh no. The mother grizzly was a massive animal, pure muscle and power. This bear is right at me. Mouth wide open, you see the fangs, so you see the huge claws. It went straight into my thigh. And then you get a whole lot of jostling and stuff like that. And the main thing going through my mind at that point is like, don't get to my daughter. Just stay with me. Johan and his daughter were on this ridge when the attack occurred, a narrow trail cut into a cliff. It left them no easy route for escape. I was holding on to the bear itself, yeah, because I want to hold it with me. I didn't want it to go to my daughter. I'm just holding on to this thing. It was really going at my scalp. I could feel at one point that my scalp was in its mouth and, and the tooth went into my scalp. I could just feel the tooth going in. And I really kept still. The bear walks away and suddenly I hear, oh no! And then I heard nothing. And that's when the bear turned on Jenna, who told her story several weeks later with her injuries still healing. And it grabbed my face and tore me this way, and then it grabbed my shoulder and tore me the other way. An adult grizzly can measure up to eight feet, with some weighing more than a thousand pounds. It typically strikes its prey first with its powerful jaws, aiming for the neck. Its two inch long canine teeth are able to cut straight through flesh and it can literally rip an animal apart with its claws, which can reach four inches long and have been called the animal's meat hooks. With its prominent shoulder muscles, it is strong enough to kill a 100-pound deer in a single blow. My dad was screaming, and that's like the worst sound you can hear in the world, I think. Jenna Otter did exactly what she needed to survive, and without knowing at the time, so did her father. It would save my life that eventually I was just basically so chewed up that I couldn't I wasn't a threat anymore. I mean, I just stayed quiet. I pretended like I was dead. And I think there was enough blood <laughs> everywhere to make the bear think um, or be satisfied that we were either adequately injured or dead, so we weren't going to inherit its cubs. 